Hello everyone, my name's Paul. I spent six years in the Navy and been living on my boat now for five years. So I know a little bit about sailing and such. And anyway, this video is about the sailor hat, which I wear all the time on my boat and um, when I'm on the pier. Um, don't really wear it around town too often. It just looks a little bit out of place and odd. But for the most part, I'm talking about the sailor hat and what to wear um, when you're sailing. Um, so the sailor hat. So this is um, the Dixie Cup cap. And it's also called the gob cap for going overboard. Um, uh, we wear it with, there's a tag on the inside. This tag always goes towards your head. And then there's a seam on the brim. Let's see if I can get the light to hit it right. There it is. So the seam runs right here. And that seam always goes to the back. So the seam's kind of odd. It goes up here and then it comes down further on the side. But the seam goes to the back. All right, so put the seam to the back. So one way to wear it. Um, there's three positions. So this is how we normally wear it and when it's in this position it acts as a soft soft hard hat so you wear it top side to keep from booms and lines and everything from hitting your head so gives you a little bit of early warning device um, you wear it inside um, when you're below decks and you're running around you still keep your hat on unlike the Marines that are taught Anytime they're indoors, they take their hat off. Um, now, sailors keep their hat on because they have to run towards emergencies. So you're going to have to be running through hatches and under pipes and everything. Uh, this is much better than the ball cap. The ball cap does have a hard brim that stem, stems out. But what happens with that is it actually blocks your view of pipes. So with this, I can see everything that's up here. I can see a pipe coming at me. With the ball cap, you're going to wind up with knots all over your head. And that brim's only to the side, so if something's coming in this way, um, it's not going to help. Um, further, the ball cap, when you're outside, uh, it doesn't protect your ears. I mean, you could clip your ears underneath it, which is what we did back in boot camp. But um, actually, what we do is put this in the third position, and then it will do that. We'll get to that. So this is the first position, how we normally wear it. We wear it all the time, top side or below decks. Second position is like this, and this is to keep it from blowing off when we're in high winds. So you could be in high winds and still have a lot of sun, so I don't have a lot of protection up here from the sun. So the hat will keep me from getting sunburned. Um, third way of wearing it is we clip it all the way down. So. The all the way down position is to, we still keep our seam to the back. So the all the way down position like this, um, this is sheds water off in a heavy rainfall. Um, we also, if it's freezing cold outside, which you'll have to stand and watch out like that, you put your nice warm cap on and then you put this over it. And it'll hold that heat in. It would be the warmest hat you've ever had. All right. So that's the second the second thing. Um, so in the Navy, what they do is they have you stencil the brim. They want you to put your name and um, number on the on the brim. So you want to put the name and number on so that when it's in this position, which is prisoner of war position the person behind you can read it. So it's going to be back where that seam is and it's going to be upright when it's on sitting on your head this way. Alright, so don't when you have it on normally like this, the seam to the back, alright, and you look on the inside here, it's going to look upside down. But that we're not worried about what it looks like here we're worried about when it's folded down in the use way. Now, the civilians, when we have it out like this, the civilians makes uh, sailor hats too, but they have vent holes in here. 
just like on your ball caps if you look on your ball caps they have vent holes on them and that's to get some air going in there and keep your head cool well sailor caps don't have that and the reason for that is you use this to bail out your life raft now they're teaching people that you use this as a flotation device you um, cup some air in it and you hold it and it'll help you float well that's not going to work um i don't know who thought of that but if you've spent any time in the water that's not practical so it does work for bailing out the boat though what happened back in the 70s is they had some civilian sailor caps because caps you know a lot of people wear them and so they had it like this but they put sunglass lens in the brim here which is pretty cool because you could wear it like this and look through sunglasses and you got all the sun off you and everything so that was that was a cool thing um yeah so the navy hat is white so that if you do actually fall overboard they can see you you can see a white object on the ocean pretty well um you're not going to be able to see a blue cup ball cap on the ocean and the blue ball caps that they gave us with our utility form uniforms when we were in there um that brim on them it actually prevents you from seeing pipes and stuff hanging down so you go running through and you're gonna wind up with knots on your head so ball caps really are not a practical um hat in any way i mean because you get your ears sunburned I don't know why they're so popular, everybody's wearing them, but ball caps are not a good hat. This is a much better hat. It's practical. Um, um, oh, so how we clean it? Well, you just, cleaning it, you just throw it in the laundry, which you can't really do to a regular ball cap because it'll mess it up, but you throw it in the laundry. When it comes out, what we do is just take it out like this we put our seam to the back put it on our head real quick and then we roll this down like this make sure your hands are clean then we take this and we set it out in the Sun like that and you don't touch it until it's dry now all the brighteners and the detergent will leach out to the outside and it'll make it nice clean white and bright so um so I was in for six years went around uh, the world on a cruise uh, Philippines Australia Mombasa Italy Pakistan um, So I went through the Suez Canal. I went through Panama Canal twice um, So I've been quite around and I tell you um, So I made it an E6 and if I would have stayed in to be an E7 and I really didn't want to wear a Chief's hat the Chief's hat is not as practical as this hat I like practical and this is the best hat I don't understand why it's not accepted in public I mean I don't really wear it in public you know just here on my boat and on the pier mostly um, but it is the most practical hat you ever have so that's the sailor cap um, I can talk about other things that sailors wear too on their uniforms they wear things that if you fall overboard you can see um, the new uniforms I, it's like camouflage at sea. I mean, you're not going to be able to see seen out there in the ocean. So um, you want to wear uniforms striped with white on it. Um, you want to wear long sleeves so you don't get sunburned. I know in the Navy, you know, you're all young and everything. Everybody wants to impress everyone with their, you know, how muscular and athletic they are but you know what for the most part you don't want to get sunburned you don't want to wind up with skin cancer when you turn 50 and I tell you what you know um, I'm older than 50 now and I'm shaking now and nerve damage and things like that but I'm still on a boat and I'm still pretty tough I mean I just got run over two months ago broken leg and arm and uh, when I was on my bicycle and some car run me over so but you know if you're a sailor you're going to be tough you don't have to prove it to anyone and everybody knows you're tough so um yeah anyway enjoy your life at sea enjoy the navy uh, 
I'll tell you more in the next video.